good morning. It's Monday. I'm tired today. Um, I think we had fun out in the sun at me and my papa's yesterday for Easter. Um, definitely slept good last night, but it's Monday. We're up. Well, sort of. Mason's trying to get up. I just checked on him. I'm like, you getting up? It's time to get up. He's got school today. Um, you guys, I think he has around six more weeks of school. So before we know it, it's gonna be summer break. And I always say that as soon as spring break is done and over with, I feel like summer break is here. So only a few more weeks of his freshman year. That's crazy to say that. But we're gonna get up. Um, <laughs> I need this clearly because I can't even speak right now. Literally just rolled out of bed. Um, thanks to Ace. Ace. Ace is my alarm. He woke me up. Let's see, what's Ace doing? You guys always wanna see Ace say good morning. Happy Monday, Ace. Good morning, see I'm eating my bone. Good morning. Got into me and my papa's pool yesterday, so I'm thinking about possibly giving him a bath. But he does have his um, hair cut appointment coming up very soon, so we'll see if I'm gonna give him a bath or not. But we stopped at Krispy Kreme on the way home, even though we had so much sweets. I'm like, ugh, but Mason's like, yeah, but we'll have Krispy Kreme for the entire week and for breakfast tomorrow. So I bet you, Jack, just left to work. Oh, yep, there's, well, I think Mason had one last night, late last night, and Jack had one. But they had their uh, Easter donuts um, yesterday at Krispy Kreme. So that's, I think, what Mason's gonna have for breakfast, if I had to guess. But it's Monday, let's have a good week. Good morning. It's a late morning. It's actually almost nine o'clock in the morning. It's a lazy start to our Tuesday, you guys. Oh, look, like I said, it's nine o'clock. Look who's here, Mr. Mason. Um, apparently there is testing going on for the juniors at school, so the rest of the campus gets to sleep in and come in later. So Mason only has school today for three hours. And then he has baseball practice after that, so. It was kind of nice. We're like still in our pajamas. Like I said, it's nine o'clock in the morning. Um, trying to tend to the house, getting baseball um, pants cleaned. But eventually I gotta get this kid off to school. We got breakfast going in the air fryer. That's probably what you hear in the background. Um, and then off to school for just a few hours for this kid. Let's see, you had baseball um, pitchers yesterday. How'd that go? Uh, good. Did you smile handsome? Let's see how you smiled. Oh yeah, with that hairdo? Perfect, I'll buy extra. <laughs> um, so yeah, kind of a weird Tuesday. And then puppy training classes for Mr. Ace later. So I think I'll drop him off to school and then pretty much have to run Ace to his class. So kind of works out. But anyways, happy Tuesday, Mason. It's fun having you home or, uh, later with me in the morning. Well, I just got back with Ace and puppy training classes. Today was pretty good. She says he has a lot of pent up energy and I'm like, yes, yes he does. And I even like took him for a walk or I always try to take him for a walk to burn off some of that energy before we go to class. But I think just with all the other puppies, he just wants to play and hang out and it's hard for him to focus. But she can tell that he is doing things that he should be doing, especially like at home. Um, he just gets a little distracted. But as long as he's doing it and he's listening to me when I'm giving him his commands, it's all good. Good job, Ace. You wanna tell him what we learned today? He pooped. <laughs> today we learned to sit. So we go like this to sit and then stay. Next to my face, I had to say stay. And then I backed up probably about the distance of our kitchen here, I would say. Yeah, that's about right. And then when I was at one end, I would go to one wall and then I would go to the other wall and have him follow me with his eyes. And then I would say, come, and then he would run to me. And then I would give him a treat and he did perfect. Um, so we were supposed to work on that all week long and she said next week we'll learn um, walking on a leash, which we've already taken ace. I've been working on it. I'm just hoping that the things that I'm teaching him when we're walking, um, on the leash is the same things that she's gonna teach us, but we'll, I guess we'll find out next week. But I also picked up some more bully sticks. I'm hoping these ones are thick enough. 
because we bought, I think we showed you guys this, this bully stick holder. Um, so that when he gets to a small piece, he, we're not worried about him choking. And these ones were a little bit thinner. So we, this worked, we put two in there and it did the job. So um, I'm hoping that these ones looked a little bit thicker. So we'll see, if not, we'll just jam two in there and it seems to be doing the job. But whoever suggested these, um, quite a few of you guys did. Thank you, Ace loves them. Yes, they are expensive, but it's worth it because it's like an enrichment um, treat for him because he sits there and gnaws on it and then he gets tired. But this little, this little thing right here, you guys, cost me $32, but they do last a long time too. So this will last us a good month probably, if not longer. So not bad to keep him busy and keep his brain activity going. Good night. Have a good nap. <laughs> you gonna snore? Are you in timeout? You're in timeout? <laughs> it's dinner time. And I'm in here cooking and he just wants to be all up in my business so we put him in timeout. But tonight's dinner is going to be pasta but I put it in the oven. And then the boys love this bread. It's just hot dog buns, and then that's my gluten-free with some garlic um, powder and Parmesan cheese. I just put it in the oven, crisp it up, and the boys absolutely love it. But Mason is actually home from practice. He is showering. All right, you want in? You gonna be good? Yeah. Be showering, and as soon as he's done, dinner should be ready, so perfect timing. No, that's why you're not allowed in here, mister. That's why you're not allowed in here. No. Um, he's putting the finishing touches on tomorrow's vlog. Yes. You naughty. Somebody said hot sauce here. Oof. Water bottle. Um, a can with rocks in it. No. We need to figure something out though. Because that can't happen. Uh, be Wednesday. It is hump day already. Can't believe it. Halfway through the week. It is also game day. Got my hat out. I'm ready. Gonna bring lots of water. Not too hot today. We're looking at 92 degrees. That's doable. I can handle it. We have our shade. Um, Mr. Ace is eating his bananas and blueberries, being lazy. He was just napping underneath the table and I woke him up trying to stimulate him a little bit, kind of wear him out before we have to create him for Mason's game. Um, just waiting for Jack to get home and head to Mason's baseball game. Enjoy your bananas. <laughs> so I have a question for all you dog owners and I've, I've noticed some of you guys putting in our comments, yes, we live in Arizona. I just said how it's 92 degrees out. I know asphalt gets really hot. Have you guys used the little doggy shoes? Like, should we look into getting a pair so he gets used to wearing little shoes? Because typically right about now is when I would take him out for a walk, but with it being 92 degrees, I know the asphalt's 100 plus degrees. Um, probably not good on his little paw pads. What do we do about that? Like, do dogs in Arizona, they just don't go for walks in the middle of the day? I guess not, because even when I'm out about, I don't see dogs out. It's either early morning, which I did this morning. Um, we were out the door. It was still, I think it was like 72 degrees when I took him out early this morning. Um, so he had his morning walk. And then possibly when we get home from baseball, I can take him for a night walk once the sun starts to go down and the asphalt's not, not so hot. But what do you guys do? Does anybody use those doggy shoes to protect their dog's pads because I don't mind going out when it's hot, I just don't wanna burn his little feet. So leave suggestions down below. And if you guys use them, do they work? Do your dogs like them or do they hate them? Comment down below. Jack is home. He is changing into something a little bit more comfortable for a baseball game. Um, but he stopped at our PO box on the way home and look what came. I don't know what to do. I I feel really bad unboxing them because I feel like Mason would really want to do that. Although he knows what they're gonna look like because he picked them all out. So if you guys don't know, the last vlog Mason customized some baseball glasses for his Easter present. So we went to the Oakley store and he picked everything out. And they said that it was gonna be 15 days and then they said more like a week. It took like no like what's today Wednesday. We did this on Saturday, so we got here so quick. 
but what should I do? Do I open them right now and bring them to his game? I think he's gonna wanna wear them today. Like he literally has a game tonight. So I think I'm gonna open them. So you guys get to see him first before Mason. That's funny. <laughs> All right, here's the big reveal. You guys ready? He, he's so much better at opening packages than me, so sorry. It's anticlimactic here. Ooh. Okay, we got this. And custom. I feel so bad doing this. I don't know, I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Am I doing the right thing, you guys? Do you think he's gonna wanna wear them to his game tonight? Okay. What do we got inside? Ooh, it comes with a nice case, which she said it would come with a nice protective case to keep in his um, bag. Dun, dun. Oh, the suspense, it's killing me. Okay. And then, oh wow, this is like a super nice case. It's like tucked in there like, there's this like protective foam that keeps them like in place. All right, I think I'm gonna have to set you down for just a second here. Oh my goodness. They're so nice. All right, so if you watched the last vlog, you saw on the vlog, on the computer, everything that Mason picked out. So he picked out the shape. So I think these are radar, if I remember right, radar. And then he picked out the lenses and what color he wanted his O to be, which he picked black, I believe. And then his socks, which that's what these are called, apparently, are called socks. <laughs> but there you go, you guys. Custom Oakley glasses just in time for his baseball game. Awesome. Good eye. Yeah. There it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. 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 Watch ball. Work through. Great going. That I want to see. Jamais. Happy Thursday, everyone. I got a friend down here because I'm in the kitchen starting to prep dinner. We're having fajitas tonight, so I started to chop up all of my vegetables. Jack just left to get Mason from baseball practice. Um, I know last night we didn't pick up the camera after his game, but we need to get Mason. He did wear his glasses during his game. Um, I think he liked them. I honestly haven't really got to talk to him because last night was crazy. Uh, Jack and I had to work on some taxes and Mason had homework. So I really haven't even asked him if he liked his glasses. So hopefully tonight after um, we have dinner, we can talk about that. I'm pretty sure he liked his new sunglasses, but um, yeah, they should be home soon. I think Jack ended up taking him um, to get a little bit more hitting in after his baseball practice. Um, but they should be home soon, hopefully, because like I said, I'm starting to prep dinner and I'm hungry. But we will get a review of those glasses for you guys, I promise. Just stay tuned. Well, I think I timed that perfect. The boys are home, they're actually upstairs showering. Um, but dinner is pretty much ready. Just kind of waiting. Do you guys like your veggies to be like well done? Or like that? I kind of like them well done, so I'm waiting for those to get a little bit more done. Got our chicken ready, we got our lime rice, some refried beans. And of course, salsa on the table. Do you guys like Mexican food? It's probably my favorite food. Well, I like pasta too, but now that I'm gluten-free, it's not the same. But um, yeah, do you guys like it? Leave a comment down below. You're not allowed to have any. He's patiently waiting for his dinner. I held off so that he can eat while we eat. It's almost time, buddy. You're being so good. It's a good boy. We're really working on not getting on the countertops, huh? You're doing good, good boy. Oh, I'm so full. Dinner was good and we just cleaned it all up. It was a team effort. We did the dishes, put all the condiments away. Jack just took the trash out. Thanks for helping out, boys. But here's the kid. First of all, how was practice? Good. Good? All right, and how was extra hitting with dad? Good. Good, but everybody wants to know. Okay, let's just tell, okay. 
<laughs> you know how I said when Mason gets home we'll talk about his sunglasses? So the boys decided to come home and they totally pranked me and said, ooh, we need to talk about his glasses. He doesn't like them. I'm like, what? Like, I totally believe them. I was like, really? He doesn't like them? I'm like, oh no, what do we do about that? But the real answer is I love them. You love them? Yes. Best sunglasses ever? Definitely you a know, good I got upgrade. My best ever pair of baseball sunglasses are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you enjoy them. Thank you, guys. And like I said, he wore them in the game last night. Um, well, I say last night, but it's like afternoon game. Um, help out at first base. Yeah. It's when he had to put them on. The sun yeah, was glaring. The sun was terrible. All right. Game, so. And it helped out. There you go. Yeah. Mason likes his glasses. Out. Now I think I'm gonna take this doggo. Like his glasses? <laughs> yeah, you said you're gonna ah! give him his your old Rawlings glasses. Yeah. I think I'm gonna yeah. take Ace for a walk because as you can see, the sun's starting to go down. All right, it's actually kind of down. Um, so it should be nice and cool on his go paws. And go for a walk? Can you go for a walk? Yes. Go yes, Dad. Walk. Yes. <laughs> All right, yes. let's go. Okay. Happy a Friday. We made it to the weekend. The house is all cleaned. I can enjoy my weekend. I'm caught up on laundry. That's what I did all day, you guys. And entertain the dog in between all of that, which it's getting easier, you guys. The dog is definitely getting easier. And somebody suggested um, leaving them in the kitchen in our comments or on my DM or Instagram, something like that. We do leave them in the kitchen because we have the gate right here. Um, every time um, I actually went for a run, left them in the kitchen. Um, when I get dressed for the day and I'm upstairs, I'll leave them in the kitchen. So he's definitely becoming a little bit easier than he was a few weeks ago. But um, it's Friday night. Jack is editing this vlog right here. You guys know the drill. Mason is off at baseball practice, kind of waiting for his phone call to get picked up. It was easier practice today because they didn't have to wear their baseball, like full on baseball pants, all that. It was like shorts and t-shirts, so probably hitting. Coach tried to incentivize him, yeah. He said, if you guys win, you can wear shorts on Friday and we'll take it a little bit easier. Like, oh, because they won, yeah, they won their game. Yeah, so he said, we'll have to take it easier on Wednesday? you guys. Okay. I told Mason to wear. Sometimes coaches do that and then you run and do cardio the whole time. That's what I said. I was like, wait, just gym shorts? Ooh, you might be running a lot. And he Typically looked at me he's like. he's hitting a lot in the cage, but yeah, that could be wrong. It is He may Friday. come back and go, mm -mm. <laughs> he finessed us. I don't know, anything else? I think we're just gonna do pizza. You gonna pick up Little Caesars for you? Sure, for just me. And Mason? Oh. Not me, I can't eat that. Um, I do have a gluten-free pizza in the freezer I guess I can make for myself. But um, yeah, I guess that's it for this vlog. Um, don't forget to like it, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. And I guess we'll see you for a weekend vlog. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.